earthquake update, a look at some recent activity, and I'm going to talk about Southern California specifically here for a second. But first, looking at the 6.1 that just hit here about an hour ago, and we've just had a 6.2 strike right on this northern mid-Atlantic ridge. Go down here and look. Rather shallow compared to some of these other ones out there on the ridge line. What we've seen in the past is when these big quakes start to hit on this ridge, not specifically here, this is getting rather close. You start to get up into the 7 magnitude range, I hear. This could let rip a tsunami that could be felt on the coast of the United States. The islands down here. This is a normal swarm, but what I have noticed is all the quake activity we were seeing up in here, all the way up through here, has gone quiet. Last time I seen a decent quake hit off this ridge, we saw one hit in here on the inner off Jamaica. Now, this is off the east coast. We're not used to seeing big quakes off the east coast or on the east coast of the United States. But a big quake out here definitely could affect the coastline if it was big enough. Now, normally we see the Azores, Canary Islands, all the way up to Iceland along this ridge see activity. After big quakes strike, start to strike, we see them down through here and then all the way down into the Serpent Heads, to what I call the teeth of the Serpent Heads at the South Sandwich Islands. You can see this area very active as well, but that's a pretty big quake to hit on that ridge, a 6.1. Some activity here in western Montana, and what we've come accustomed to seeing coming out of Oklahoma. Now, right now, as an update as well, there is a massive drill ongoing for a New Madrid earthquake. This is happening in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, there is also military units still in the area after this Cascadia Rising event that took place up here. And we're used to seeing these swarms in Southern California. You can see greater Los Angeles area. But I want to talk about these faults specifically here real quick. Santa Barbara, this region, Palm Springs, Los Angeles, San Bernardino. Look at some maps here, and I want you to see exactly how this fault is running. Now, there's some new information coming out that they've kind of kept quiet for a long time because they said they couldn't figure it out because of all the noise. Well, now they figured out a way to get this data, and it's matching their other earthquake prediction models and they're saying that it's giving more credence to a big one happening in the area. And you can see the fault right there from an aerial shot. And I'll leave links so you guys can go in and look and read the rest of the details to this. But one spot in particular here is this cut. Right here, you'll notice as it, as it cuts, and they even got it dotted in black right here. Soda Lake Road, as it starts to cut, right northeast of Santa Barbara, cutting down through San Bernardino, Desert Hot Springs. So this area immediately seems to be an area that I would want to pay attention to. So when I go looking a little bit further, I come across the post that they had put out back in April about the big one here on RT. And sure enough, this one section right here, Southern California, targeting that area. It shows this network of faults. And as I was talking about, this, this spot just northeast of Santa Barbara, this whole range, I think it's the Red Mountain Range. I'm not sure exactly there, but the fault runs right here, connected to the Lion Fault, another fault. You can see the movement here. And the Ventura running right underneath of all of this with that San Andreas running up through here. 
cutting up through here. So one big one could set the rest in the motion. And you're talking about tsunami risk, everything else for the region. And I just wanted to kind of paint the picture here so people understand where these fault lines are sitting. And when they really do start to go, if you see activity from San Santa Barbara down here to this fault line, you can bet that these things are in motion. Now, we see a lot of swarming activity, small activity, that, that's normal. But when you start to see an uptick of big ones or strange patterns, kind of similar to what we saw here recently. If you guys remember the big video I put out on that strange pattern that was coming from the earthquake swarm out here in Southern California. All of this giving credence to a potential big one that could pop off here down the road. We see all these earthquake drills going down, military in motion, the Cascadia rising, like I said, the New Madrid. They have a drill going on there right now in Memphis, lasting up till this Thursday, over 50 different military units involved in that. We'll have to sit back and keep an eye on things and hope that bigger quakes don't hit over here because they do, I've seen it in the past, they trigger other quakes to hit in odd areas. Like I said, we haven't seen a big quake right here on the East Coast in some time. But 6.2 here in the North Atlantic, fairly shallow. Keep an eye out for any other activity that might break loose here from Texas down through Mexico, Costa Rica, Guatemala, El Salvador. And look, now we've got a 2.5 that finally struck here in Colombia because it's been very quiet. And normally we see a swarm there, kind of similar to like California or the islands here. But silence means energy is building. And with big ones popping off on these ridge lines, I would expect more. Where? Anybody's guess. But that's the latest here. I'll leave links. It's been Dabu 7.